Whew, okay. I am a product of a divorced relationship and a broken father. My dad left me when I was three years old and ever since then, I kid you not, he had about 20 children, all with different women. For some reason, he could never decide on one woman and that thing has always been on my mind. How do I not end up like my dad? That's why today I make a video for anyone who struggles in relationship to tell you what this experience has taught me. Truth is, my father divorced my mom because his expectations were way too high and even worse, he could never work on their relationship. And I feel like many people split up for the same reasons. They search for that perfect match straight from the movies, missing out on loving the real person next to them. It is very normal to want our partner to be the one and only to meet our expectations. But at the same time, I feel like these expectations can make us really unhappy. And that's why my 55 years old dad never managed to stay in a relationship. He always thought that he couldn't find the right person for him, but that is not true. The truth is, he simply couldn't create one. See, when I asked my grandparents why are they still together, they told me that back in the day when something was broken, they would try to fix it, and nowadays we simply throw it away. That's why back in the day divorce ratio was so much lower. People knew that perfect couples don't exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can travel the entire world searching for the one and only. You can swipe left and right on Tinder for days upon days. You can even wait your whole life and you still won't create a perfect relationship because they don't exist. Yes, we are the divorce nation because we dream of the impossible. All of this doesn't apply to the extremes, the violent father, the cheating mother. I understand why these couples shouldn't be together. But there are so many good couples out there who missed out on being a great relationship just because they couldn't work hard enough and this is for them. Instead of asking yourself over and over if you with the right person, ask yourself if you are doing enough to make that person right for you.